Closing the infrastructural gap in Nigeria's aviation industry will require about 15.3 trillion naira if the country will become a hub in sub-Saharan Africa in the next 50 years. Where will these funds be sourced over the long years? That's the topic of our discussion on the program. And China launches its amphibious aircraft into flight. That's the program at a glance. Welcome on Board Aviation this week on Channels Television. I'm Kola Jo Ukitumbi. The aviation industry is a catalyst for socio-economic development anywhere and is pivotal to the growth of key economic sectors, certainly not limited to travel and tourism. The International Air Transport Association had predicted that the aviation industry globally should expect between 5.8 billion and 7.2 billion passengers to travel yearly by 2035, a near doubling of the 3.8 billion air travelers in 2016 and an anticipated change for the industry to handle about 16 billion passengers and 400 million tons of freight in 2050. Aircraft manufacturer Boeing also recently predicted that over the next 20 years, the world would manufacture over 39,600 airplanes valued at more than $5.9 trillion as the total number of aircraft in year 2015 will increase from 22,510 units to 45,240 units by 2035. Back home in Nigeria, the country seems to be sleeping on its oars as there are more challenges than ever before facing the aviation industry. But some actors say there is need to harness the potentials than ever before. One believes a national airline is not a bad idea. Ethiopian is, is a national, is a home by government. Are you with me? It's not, it's not, it's not privately owned. So we can do things. And the other people that are, home, that are privately owned are doing well also. Let's just do it well. We need to do things well and remove all those things that make us uh, uh, look most unserious. Good corporate governance is important. You must also be credit worthy, then you can attract the necessary financing. The money is there outside, it's not in Nigeria, it's outside. But if they know that if they bring the money in, we are going to squandle it, we're going to end up somebody's pocket, then it won't come. So those are the things we need to do. Despite significant investment in Nigeria's aviation sector, the country's air transport infrastructure still ranks low among African states. Critical infrastructure like Category 3 landing aids especially on the air side, is important to reduce losses for airlines. And then it requires special training from the pilot. In other words, when they're in a simulator, they go through what they call a Category 3 landing. It's just training. Anybody can do it. And people have been doing it, and they're not great pilots, so it's not that difficult. But for some reason or the other, we're unable to install this equipment in any airport in Nigeria. And the loss of revenue is colossal to the airline. Because when an aircraft is sitting on the ground, it's losing money. You see all these foreign airlines coming in here with their brand new aircraft. They're on ground in Lagos, not because Lagos, they have a perception about Lagos being unsafe. Or, no, 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 it's not because of that. It's because when the aircraft is on the ground, it's losing money. It has to be in the air flying. But what do we do? 800 meters and less, we're all in. And I've seen the delay in departure of, what is that? That's all rubbish. We, now we shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be talking about that in 2017. Talk less of Vision 2050. None of that. We should have had these things in place 20 years ago. Funding is the main question. But Nigerian banks appear to be avoiding the sector. The, the aviation sector, the, the federal government set up a fund called the Power and Aviation International Fund. The banks participated in that process. We were not meant to provide the funding. We were meant to provide the bank guarantee. In the long run, we took those risks, and yet we still didn't have the good thing. I bring you back to the earlier part. The earlier part is that you still need, it's not just about the money that makes it work. It's the enabling environment that has to make it work. You have to make sure that infrastructure that allows the airline to operate, and to operate efficiently, at a profitable level, to be able to make the return stable that we need to do. And without that, it's difficult for a bank for you to ask a bank to take more than its fair share of that. 
that position. That's the reality. As the country emerges from recession, many experts believe that aviation can unlock the enormous economic potential that exists within Nigeria. Ayata says it's encouraging the government to continue to promote aviation for its role as a catalyst and socio-economic enabler for the country and to promote stronger connectivity within Nigeria and its neighboring African countries.